And that is five. So I'm going to start up. And we're back at the crime scene. So, where we left off was, once again, this lady's been shot. She is just so out of luck. So, we're gonna just move on over a little closer. Rewind time a bit. Hmm. Wait a second. Oh, there's the, uh, the dude. This must be a basement. There's that old man from before. I can't see very well in this darkness, <clears throat> but it looks like a pretty strange room. Yeah, what's going on in this? But never mind this. I better go see Lynn. Seems... Oh, wait. A frame picture of a gun super flashy hmm. all right and yeah we can reach her so time to turn back the clock on this one unconscious this time as well eh where am I oh now she's awake get some info She's coming, too. What happened to me? Excuse me. Are you ignoring me? Yes. Oh, oh, uh, this is sorry. I'm still not used to talking with dead people, you see. Dead? So I'm dead, huh? Taking it pretty easy. <laughs> hmm. Try as I might, I can't seem to remember who I am. She's starting to remind me of me. Maybe she'll have... Who am I? Maybe she'll have the same uh, memory time as the dog. Everybody seems to call you Lynn, if that's any help. Lynn, huh? Pretty cute name. And apparently... Oh! Hello again, knees are play. We're back with the Phantom Detective. Uh, just started it, just connected to Lynn to try and undo her another death she had. And apparently, you're a detective too. Detective? You mean that super cool kind of cop that solves crimes and upholds justice? Eh, sounds like a pretty subjective description, but... Yeah, that kind of detective. Apparently also the type that doesn't fare too well. Hey, wait a minute. Are you starting to remember something? There's no time to lose. Oh. Hmm. Oh no. That's odd. Something really unusual is going down in this town tonight. Yeah, I certainly won't argue with the really unusual part. So, that's odd. That's not your face, you know. Take another look. You're the dead one. Oh, right, of course. It'd be pretty heinous if I looked like this. I guess, wouldn't it? Ooh, rude. I don't know if heinous is the right word. She just absolutely roasted that man. <laughs> there. Now this is more like it. Okay, so that also gives us some info. If we ever see a different ghost, we don't know if what they appear is actually who they are. Same for us. We might think we're to sell, but this brings up the possibility that maybe we aren't. We could have just mistakenly thought that's us. Though, I'm not really leaning into that right now. It's just a possibility that I'll keep in the back of my hat. Uh, something really unusual is going on in this town tonight. Could it have anything to do with my death, I wonder? Oh, 
Also, I totally forgot. How are you doing, Nizar Play? Tell me, what is going on in this town tonight? Don't ask me. Huh? I can't remember a thing. I think it's probably because I'm dead. Her, everything is so confusing. Can't you do something? Hey, hey, you're asking the wrong guy. I mean, yes, we can do something. We can just completely undo death. But I've got some things to ask you about. Um, probably not about me. She won't remember about that. So I'm going to ask about her own death. That's more likely to be remembered. Uh, hopefully you can get some rest soon. But glad other than that you're doing well. So I died, huh? Yeah, apparently. I'm very sorry. How could this have happened? And after I just passed my test, finally this year. My exciting career of catching the bad guys had just begun. And now look at me. Why did I have to go and die in an old junkyard like this? Poor kid. The shock is setting in. And so I told her everything that happened tonight. About ghost tricks, possessing and manipulating objects, and about going back and forth, going back four minutes before a person's death. This is actually isn't the first time you died tonight, you know. You are in fact the worst luck charm, who definitely has a hit on on, on you. You were already shot and killed once before tonight. And you saved me? That's right. You don't remember? <laughs> Just got absolutely taken the heck out. Oof. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, I, I think I do remember something like that happening vaguely. Yeah, I, I did get shot by a blue man dressed all in black. He's blue, ba da dee, da da da, ba da da dee. Or, well, he was blue. Not anymore. I guess this means that even if a death is erased, the memory of it remains. Well, we already learned that from Missile. So I died twice already tonight. Wish I knew what to say to her. Guess I'll just have to recover. Oh, I'll just have to wait until she recovers a little. So, it's also interesting that her name helped her remember a lot already. We still have our name, but we don't quite remember that much at all. Like, we don't even remember having our name. We just know that is our name. Hey, I bet that's some kind of record, don't you, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you're probably right. Looks like she's pretty much recovered already. <laughs> she's got that, like, well, you know, I died. If I die, I die. <laughs> I'm looking for the answers to the questions. Who am I? And why was I killed? <laughs> Do you know anything that might help me? The only thing I know right now is that my name is Cicel. Your name is Cicel, huh? I think so. It rings some kind of bell, anyway. I think I was killed tonight, while I was meeting with you. So, you must at least know me, I think. I was meeting with you? Yeah, in the junkyard outside. Yeah, it's coming back to me. I remember now. I knew it. I knew you were the lead I needed. But I'm so sorry. I don't think I can help you. Why not? Cause I don't know you. What do you mean? I thought you said you remembered me. No, I said I remembered something. I remembered the fact that I don't know you. I remembered the absence of you from my life. No way. So, even if we're strangers, we're definitely connected in some way. 
So you don't know me, huh? Nope. Wish I did. Either that, or, like I said, w maybe we aren't Cicel. We just assumed we were Cicel, and we do know her. Nope. Wish I did. So do you suppose we're just two strangers who happened to meet tonight? No way. I don't think it was any accident. <laughs> that would be really creepy. <laughs> like you just turn around and this guy is dead. Find out he was following you. Saved your life twice. Sounds like a bad start to a lifetime movie. No way. I don't think it was any accident. <laughs> Why in the world would I be way out here in the middle of nowhere for no reason? I was asked to come here tonight. Maybe we were asked to come. By who? Can't you kind of guess where this is going? You're kidding. You mean... Bingo, by you. Okay, so maybe we were like a double agent, a whistleblower for whatever the blue, blue dictator is doing. He was like, hmm, yes, the cell man who I don't trust. Um, I'm gonna want you to do this work. And we were like, sure, sure, bro. But then like he turns around and we're like, hey, first looked up in the phone book, first detective name you find. Call him up. Hey, I got some good info. <laughs> I asked you to come here, but why? That's what I was gonna ask you. Why did you ask me to come here tonight? Way out here in the middle of nowhere. I think it's also interesting is, if I remember the correctly, the detective didn't actually- or not the detective, the dictator dude, the blue guy, didn't say we were dead, so he might not know we've already been killed. You gotta be kidding me. It goes without saying that I don't remember. Grr, everything is so confusing. Can't you do something? Mm. Lynn, I'm not saying you owe me or anything, but I have a favor to ask. When you word it like that, it's kind of like, I'm not saying you owe me anything, but I'm heavily implying that you are indebted to me. What is it? In the next four minutes, you'll probably come back to life. You'll then be in quarantine for two weeks, and that's the perfect time to watch a nice long anime. <laughs> uh, when you do, do you think you could try to find out about me before tomorrow morning? Who I am, and why I was killed. I'm really sorry. But I can't make any promises. Why not? I don't remember very clearly right now. But I think I was investigating a case tonight. I mean, a case that is very, very important to me. Okay, so... I'm gonna put a check in the cliche box and I'm gonna guess she's looking into the case because it directly involves her father. There we go. Um, that's my cliche box. I've pulled out a card and it says this case deals with her father. I don't know her father. Don't know anything about her life other than she lives with two people. But that's my bet. So even if I come back to life, I don't think I'll have time to find out anything about you. I mean, her case definitely involves us. I know that's a terrible thing to say to the person who saved my life once already. I'm really, really sorry. I see. That's too bad. But I'm afraid I'm still going to ask you. Ask me what? Ask you to save me. Even though I probably won't be able to help you. I know it's selfish of me. I really apologize. But I just can't die. Not yet. Not like this. I'm investigating something important tonight. I think that maybe that might be the reason I was killed. Definitely. But I still want to solve the case in spite of all that. Am I out of line? Am I out of my mind? 
Didn't I tell you a minute ago you don't owe me? Huh? I'm certainly not gonna treat your life like some kind of bargaining chip. That's nice. That's nice of him. I'll save you. What you do after that is up to you. Thank you. So you ready to go back? Back to four minutes before you got shot? It's rewind time. Lynn's second death. I'm heading back in time now to rewrite her fate. Faced with those circumstances, she could have just lied and promised to help me. But she didn't. That's when I knew I could trust her. I have a bad feeling about this. You're gonna have a bad time. Yes, sir. It's me, incompetent cop. The incompetent. Detective, is everything okay? Oh, uh, I'm totally not acting super suspicious right now. I was hungry, so I was trying to get something delivered. What? <laughs> Don't do that. I'm, I'm Mr. Incompetent. Oh, I'm so sorry. You should leave jobs like this to me. Is chicken alright? Oh, well, good night, Rose. And thank you for saying hi. Um, but good night. Hope you get some good rest before the weekend and all that busyness. Oh, that's okay. Haha, <laughs> I'm not feeling very hungry right now. Good night. I would like to go back to the station for a minute, though. You would? Oh, uh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. I can't let you do that, Dave. It's me, Cop 2000. Inspector Cabanella is on his way. He'll be here any minute. Oh, look at him dance into the room. Majestic. Evening, patrol man. Good evening, Inspector Cabanella, sir. Nice work. Now do me a favor and take a little patrol around outside, would ya? That's a nice fellow. I don't trust this guy at all. Yes, sir. Like, I know he's friend of the detective and all. I just don't trust him. Yo. How's it going, baby? He dances too much. And he wants to be left alone. That... That makes me suspicious. Inspector Cabanella, what are you doing here? I thought that the Special Investigative Unit, SIU, had an important top-secret assignment tonight. What does that matter at a time like this, when my Lynn's in crisis? I appreciate it, sir. Also totally non-suspicious. Wait a minute, did you just say crisis? Don't tell me I'm being suspected. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm the only person here, but are you really considering me a suspect? <laughs> suspected of shooting that pointy-haired man in the red suit? I mean, I've never even met the guy before. Hmm. Never, baby? Oh, well, uh... Before tonight, I mean. He asked me to meet him here. He said he had important information about the big case I'm working on. He's the one who contacted me. I see, I see. But it's funny, isn't it? I took a look at the list of cases your station is handling right now. And I didn't see you listed as involved on any big cases. Uh-oh. You know I don't suspect you, baby. Just trying to clear things up. You're not the type to ever shoot anybody. Hey, 
Who knows you better than me, baby? That That's such a weird way of saying it. I hate it. You know if anything ever happened to you. I'd never be able to look him in the eye again. It's her dad. It's gonna be her dad. It's gonna be like... <laughs> most cliche bad... Cliche card in the box of cliches. Or the person she lives with. Our mystery third person. Inspector Cabanella, I'm gonna ask you a question. Yeah? And what's that? And I want you to answer honestly. Is it tonight? Is that when it's go when it's happening? I have no idea what you're talking about. Get down. Oh. It seems to me that Baby is indeed under suspicion. By Inspector Cabanella? No, he's not like that. Just for the record, did you shoot me? Me? I would never do anything like that. And, like, even if... Like, it wouldn't make sense. We have info to give her. That we clearly didn't give her yet. She wouldn't want to shoot us. Anyway, it looks like the hitman fired from outside. It'd be hard to prevent the bullet from coming in, though. In any case, let's just give it a try, our four minute game. So, we probably can't stop the bullet, so our next bet would be get her far away from reach of the bullet. You know what, I have an idea. The guy who shot me is outside, right? Looks that way, yeah? Instead, instead of trying to stop the bullet once it gets in here, wouldn't it be more fun to go out and stop the guy who's shooting the bullet? <laughs> fun, she says, with eyes gleaming. Oh boy, she's out for blood. She's like, I know I possibly killed one man with telekinesis. We should kill more. <laughs> you can use the telephone to move around, right? That's right, and I know the telephone number to the junkyard payphone, too. I don't want to get shot again. You know what they say about three strikes and you're out. As long as you don't become a ball player, you'll probably be safe. But the telephone thing's a good idea. Maybe I'll give it a try. I have a bad feeling about this. I'm getting messages. So that's suspicious. She's clearly hiding something. Detective, is everything okay? All right. Oh, uh, you know, we read this. I'm gonna skip. All right, let's try moving around. I wanna examine this notebook real quick. What's up with this blinding pink notebook? Oh, that's mine. Isn't it adorable? Hee hee hee. Why isn't your adorable notebook in your pocket? Yeah, it's weird that she just stuck it behind the bookshelf. I panicked, okay? Don't you shove things in the bookcase when you panic? No. Who were you calling anyway? Ghostbusters! <laughs> it was personal business. Alright, let's see if I can... Oh. Hello! The chicken kitchen. You want chicken? We got your chicken. One chicken dinner, please. Would you like an order of fried chicken with that? Alright. Was there another call done before? You know what? Maybe we should just go there. See if we can somehow hop in a delivery. And that can take us to the area of the shooter. Uh, 
Hello? Where would you like that delivered? They hung up. Hmm, okay. So... La la la. What does it matter? A chicken order or two lost? If it were three orders, that would be a different story, though. La la la. I don't know, like, how he's singing, so I can't do it musically. Alright, let's see if... Maybe there's somewhere we can get to using this. Um... Yeah, let's do a... Ring the bell seems to be all we can do right now. Didn't ring. We just popped over here while we had the chance without much thought. But this isn't where this isn't where the hitman who's trying to kill me is. Clearly. We probably will ought to hurry back. Oh, apparently me ringing doesn't do anything but give me a warning message. Hmm, that's funny. What's the matter? This telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone line glows red, but I don't see it right now. But we came here by telephone line. Apparently, in this four minutes before death world, we can only use the lines while the telephone is being used to make a call. That's interesting. You're kidding, right? As long as the lines are closed like this, it looks like we can't go anywhere. I guess we'll have to start over. Well, am I sure I can't ring the bell? I wanna ring the bell. That apparently really just does nothing. So, rewind the clock. All right, so she's calling someone differently though, it seems like during this moment, but I can't reach her. Oh no, wait, she doesn't even call someone, she just panics. So, she panics. And... The motor does nothing. Right now we have the guide working down here, but we can't move anything. The motor doesn't turn. Okay, I was hoping maybe we could turn the motor a bit. The chicken shop. But we want to stay here. If we go to the other location, we get kind of goofed. Right. So. Oh, wait. That was a mistake. We probably didn't want to talk about that. Hopefully we didn't move time too far forward. I'm gonna just swivel this. Maybe turn this on. Huh? That's Lynn's notebook. Hey, wait a minute. I thought she was practicing a dance move when I came in. No, that was definitely suspicious. No question. Maybe now he'll call the police station or outside. And that will cause a few bit of things. I'd better report this. I wonder if I can make the call without her noticing. Yep. So now he's gonna call 
and we can go over. See, they're calling outside. What's up? I've been watching Lynn just like you told me to. And I noticed something suspicious. You did. So Inspector Cabanella was right. She was hiding her notebook when I came in. Her notebook, eh? Yes, sir. In a very sp suspicious manner and in a very conspicuous place that I only noticed because supernatural forces illuminated it. Anything else? Uh, let's see. It's pink and it's a notebook. Anything else? Um, let's see. Come to think of it, she was using the phone when I came in too. And referring to her notebook. Okay, so someone will be over later. Don't let, don't let on you noticed anything. All right, now I'm gonna go over. Hey, look at that, the phone line is glowing red. I bet it would work if we tried it now. I bet you're right. The detective he's talking to is outside in the junkyard. And that's where the horrible hitman who's after me is too. So we're gonna go there because now we're gonna be at the location of the hitman. And we're gonna goof him up. <laughs> I've been waiting for you while still being completely unhelpful, as is the way of Ray. Eek! What are you? A desk lamp? That sounds like an old grandpa? Just call me Ray. Grandpa Ray. You just have to get the grandpa part in there somewhere, don't you? <laughs> We're souls. We can choose any appearance we like. I have chosen a lamp because I am a fan of Pixar films. Which means you have no intention of showing us what you really look like, right? <laughs> uh, because if I did, it would probably reveal too much too quickly. And I need to be extremely vague. Now then, about that gunshot that took your life. I heard it way up on the upper level, a scant few minutes from now. Okay, so that lets us know that he can also remember if we do setbacks independently of him. The hitman is probably getting his rifle ready right now. Alright, I'm going in. I'll get him with those ghost trick thingies. I'm very sorry, young lady. But you don't have those powers. You're gonna do a major flex on her. <laughs> what? Why not? I'm afraid I don't know the reason. But only a special few have the powers of the dead. What? Are you saying I'm not special? That's not fair. Anyway, we don't have much time. Come on, and hop in. Oh, there goes Cabanella. Carry on, boys. All right. So we're gonna move on over. And... This seems pretty simple so far. Alright, Ray. That horrible hitman is after that's after me is upstairs, isn't he? Yes, apparently. In other words, we can't stop him if we stay down here. Let's go then. I'm not really big on the idea of getting shot again. Oh, I guess Ray isn't going to help us. I was like, oh, Ray's gonna help us get upstairs, and no, he's useless. Alright. I remember this. So we're gonna turn this on. Hit the fan. And then jump ship back into the flag. Simple. And it's also been like two days, so I'm really glad I remember that. Alright, so now we up. 
And now we have a searchlight on. Interesting. Well, we made it. Now it's time to hunt down that horrible hitman. He must be around here somewhere, preparing to take his shot. There isn't a lot of time. Let's try to find him fast. I'm gonna make good and sure he understands. What happens to people who point guns at others? I mean... I'm afraid she's gonna want us to kill him as well. I mean... <laughs> last guy got flanned like a pancake. There's a gleam in her eye that's absolutely blinding. As we just watch Cabanella gracefully dance up the stairs. Uh, let's see if I can... Turning this on and off does anything. Uh, I'm just gonna try to straight up blind Cabanella at this point then. Yeah, look at him driving. Oh. So I was definitely supposed to hop on to Cabanella. Let's go to After Fate Change. Because I was definitely supposed to hop onto that bike. Fold up right there. Turn on. And then, luckily none of these are clapping appliances, because then what would we do? Ghosts don't have hands to clap with. I would be out of luck. Alright. Go up. Wait in the spotlight until Cobnella passes by. And once Cabanella passes by on his bike, we're going to hop on. Where is he? Oh, there he is. There we go. Oh, uh, I'm just like a little off. There we go. I hate that's like a quick time event. <laughs> I gotta be like on the button there. Okay. Let's see. Oh, he's right there. We're gonna blind him now. I see my target. Time to go to work. I'll be head of the Hitman Division by next month for sure. No, you never want to try to rise the ranks in a Hitman group. There are clear indications of what will happen. I mean, look what happened to Nero the stand user of Metallica. <laughs> there he is, the horrible hitman. I think his name is actually Tengo, but that doesn't matter now. We have to stop him from shooting fast. Blind him. I'm gonna really <laughs> light up his world. I also need to open the door. All right. Blinded. Blinded by, er, blinded by the light. I don't know how that song goes. There. We put a stop to that shot, at least. We did it. So I'm safe now, right? No, he's gonna just move. Well, that changed your fate a little, but it didn't avert it completely. We're not done yet. That hitman is a professional, and he really, really wants to be head of the division, apparently. I doubt blocking a shot here and there is gonna stop him. If you want to rough him up a little bit, I promise I won't put it in my report. <laughs> report to the, to the department. I turned into a ghost. We did ghost tricks to stop the assassin. We murdered the assassin. and report. <laughs> Let's think of something else before he gets a shot in. Alright, so at least we know the sta the steps up to here. Um, yeah, that does nothing. Let's try pedaling, see if that moves this at all. No, pedaling only affects the back wheel. And we have no reach. Let's close the door so we can get down. And we're gonna just hijack this man's- Oh, I guess we can't hijack his bike. 
but we might be able, there we go, get on that baton or nightstick. If I want that position, I have to be careful of even the least bit of light. <laughs> I like the, like the cop is looking directly in his direction and it's like, nothing here. I have the perception of uh, a Skyrim NPC. Division head is my ambition for this year. Next year, my motto will be, if I want to be director, I have to be careful of even the least bit of scandal. So it, show, it sounds like he won't show up in spots where a light is on. And next year, I'm gonna spread some nasty, scandalous rumors about him. I like her style. <laughs> oh. Don't want to move yet. So let's turn this on. And I think what's gonna happen is we're gonna have to find a spot. Oh, look at that. One of the lights went out. There are three lights here all together. Apparently, we can't have all three of them on at once. Our station is crazy cheap when it comes to electricity. So, just so another detective could see what he was doing the other day, I had to pedal my bicycle to, in place to work the headlamp. A very sad tale indeed. Sounds like they're taking things way too far. Okay, so obviously what we're gonna need to do is either find other means of light. Okay, this will help us move. Hey, did you turn that flashing light on? It wasn't me, it went off all by itself. It scared the heck out of me. Well, just make sure you lay it off it. Don't wanna waste any electricity. Have things gotten that tight? That's pretty sad. <laughs> They're really putting the squeeze on us lately about using too much power at sites. They won't even let us use all of our searchlights at once. Oh boy. We ought to be free to do at least that much, especially on a dark night like tonight. Okay, so this will help us move to the next spot. But I think what we're going to need to do... is figure out a way oh we're probably gonna need to go to the next oh we're too far away okay i think we might be too far away to stop the shot or, you know, maybe we'll have time. So, what I'm thinking is we get this light on to stop him here. Hopefully, that light goes out. Maybe then we turn on the, the alarm to get both the cops to move. And take notice. Because then he won't have any location to move to is my bet. Right? Alright, now let's turn this on. Right? Now everyone's gonna notice. Look, one of the lights went out. There are three lights here all together. Apparently you can't have all three on at once. Hey, I told you to lay off that thing. And I told you it wasn't me. Uh oh, I think I might know what's going on here. It's the work of, you know. What? Hey, shut up, you're creeping me out. But you know as well as I do, the only explanation for this is Inspector Cavanella. So they tell tales about him as though he's a ghost, eh? Because real ghosts don't exist, but Inspector Cavanella is all too much real. All right. Hope you have a good rest, uh, thank you, and see you next time, Knees Are Play. What does this lover do? Huh. 
Nothing happened. Oh. Let's see. Is there a way for me to get up there while he's... Why is it always that one going off? One that I'm gonna have to turn that one off. I'm like too short still. Turn around, sir. Get me to the other location, please. Oh no. I don't think I have that many moves. Oh no. Oh god. I don't think I have that much time. Oh gosh. This is not going well. Oof. Oh god, I need to open it first. Okay, that was barely enough time. Actually a bit nerve-wracking. Okay, now he's over there. Wait, what? No, I didn't know they, that also counted. Oh. Okay, that was unfortunate. So, we're gonna do, go down, wait for the cop to come back, and hop a ride on. Right, he goes there. I totally forgot that I was supposed to jump there. Alright, so we can use the light to distract people. Now we'll jump, and that should give us some time before he shows up again to turn off this light. Hopefully with that light turned off, we can turn this one on now. Alright. Turn that on.
and let's raise and maybe that will get us to that box oh yeah so hopefully he now goes under this spot yep now let's lower it down on him hmm this is quite a distance from the target but i can't work under a spotlight after all Never mind. A shot like this is nothing for a man of my skill. Mr. Division Head seems to like dark, gloomy places. I'd be happy to throw him in a dark, gloomy cell. Come on, Cicel. Get him. Hold up. When did I become her assistant? She's like sicking, him on, sicking me on him. Let's crush him. Oof. We have committed two murders today. Yay us. Uh, did you hear a scream just now? I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Uh, nobody said it was. There. We found a nice dark spot for our gloom-loving hitman. I think your death has just been erased. Again. It's very weird that these guys have like cartoon style deaths and then like the hitman get crushed in various ways almost cartoon style why not i wonder huh why don't i have powers like you if i could do th things like you do it could really help me pursue my case why only the special few huh it's not fair that's the same thing the little doggy said, too. Well, I'm jealous of you, actually. You're alive. <laughs> you are? Why? Because your life can be saved, even if you die again tonight. I can save you with my ghost tricks. <laughs> Nobody can save my life, though. Oh. These powers of the dead. Why have they chosen me? Yeah, what if that's like the twist is like, since I'm not really Cecil, I can be saved. Will I find the answers to that question tonight? Cecil, I'm so sorry. Uh oh. Oops. Well, you're free to do as you please now. I guess this is goodbye, detective. Will we ever see each other again? If you ever want me to- Oh, whoops, that shouldn't be there. We're not doing that yet. There we go. But in a bit. <laughs> I might need to take a break real quick. If you ever want to see me again, all you have to do is die. Just straight up die and you'll see me again. Good luck. Okay, got it. Oh, she's rolling with it. I was kidding. Well, guess we'd better be getting back to the present. Lynn has escaped death for a second time. That doesn't mean she's out of the water yet. I better go see how she's doing. And with that, I'm just gonna call a really quick break. Um, so now let me get the break screen up. Ready, I am back. Just had to get some more water and such. And now we're going to be moving. wonder what happens if I open this. Oh. Hopefully that was a good thing. No! Oh, goodness. Uh, maybe we can use this to get inside, though. No, wait. It's the flag that's closest. Yeah. Because telephone. Please telephone. 
Well, it looks like congratulations are in order. You erased yet another death. Yeah, no thanks to you, Ray. You're useless, Ray. But I haven't gotten any further in solving my own mystery, though. But that woman holds the key. Don't forget that. Lynn, huh? Now that she's alive again, she's probably still being detained in the super's office. She won't be able to pursue her case without the freedom to move around. I'd better go back to the super's office and see her. That sound... That sounds like a good idea. Alright. Let's move on over then. Back to... Hmm, trouble man's gone. Or maybe you just don't see him. Let's kind of want to just see around. Looks like the novelist is still taken up with her prime minister. The atmosphere is so thick in this room. It's smart enough- it's enough to make your eyes smart. I think I'd better leave before this air suffocates me. Yeah. Let's just- I'm just curious. You know, just check in on a few places. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe Emma was right. Maybe it was a mistake I was ever born at all. Oof. But wait a minute. If I'd never been born, Amelie wouldn't be here right now. Ugh. It's gotten to the point where I don't know what my mistakes were. What defines a mistake anyways? If something isn't right, does that make it a mistake? I'm out of here. I don't get the- I don't get to stay. Park. Oh yeah, I haven't checked out the park. Let me see that area. The entrance to nearly- to the nearly deserted park. The detective who was ordered by Cabanella to perform a stakeout is nowhere to be seen. Maybe he's in the restroom. I wonder if that strange man followed him in there. Hmm. Maybe we'll just check this out real quick if we can. Hmm. I don't think I can move, actually. Nope. Have no choice but to leave. So let's just go to the super's office. I decided to go back to the office where Lynn was being detained. With her change in fate, her story was sure to change, too. And maybe that would lead us in a new direction. Now that Lynn was alive again, I wonder what she's doing. She said she was investigating an important case tonight. Could that case be connected to me in any way? Yeah, I'm saving. Yeah, I'll continue playing too.